Jenny San John. Jenny San John. You are going to school today. You are going to daycare today. Are you happy? Yes. Are you sure? So why are you not eating your food? This is to eight. This is to eight, and you're supposed to be there by seven thirty. See, your bags are ready. Hang your bag. Hang your bag. Where's Jenny's? Jenny's this way. Where are you? Jenny's. Okay, you're wearing your bag. Can you turn your back? Let me see. Cute. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Beautiful. Take it easy. Oh yeah, come and hug your sister. Come on, Jenny, come and hug Joan. Hug, hug. Hey, I'm gonna miss you. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go. Can you hug mom? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss you. Huh? Will you miss mommy? Yeah. Will you miss mommy? Yes! Oh yeah, let's go, let's go. This thing is outside. Okay, let's go. Press the elevator. Whoa. Whoa. Why were you crying, Jenny's? Okay, he will come back later, okay? Jason, Dennis, why were you two crying? Why were you crying? He you wants your Jason on the bus. John, why were you crying? He you wants your Jason too. <laughs> you just want to follow Jason? Oh, my cutie. Don't worry. Very soon you will turn five. And you'll be joining Jason on the bus, okay? Okay? Hello, my wonderful people. You're welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. If you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Tina Iso. I'm a YouTuber currently based in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. You're welcome today. Let's vlog about, yeah, officially my girls are starting daycare. And as I'm adding the vlog here, I just want to tell you what daycare currently is about or how you can register your child or who can start daycare in Canada okay so we are heading to the location where my girls and where I have found for my girls so first off getting a, a, a daycare is absolutely your business as parents no government nobody no anybody is helping you to get you have finished your what okay that's beautiful so nobody is helping you to get a daycare for your children or your child. Okay. Thank you. So absolutely nobody is helping you to get a place for yourself, for your children or for your child. So you're going to do that yourself. That's the first thing. And how can you do that? Mostly if you're coming into Canada, I would advise if you're coming with children less than five years old or Saskatoon precisely, as you're landing, you're changing your location on your phone, Start searching. You need what? You, oh, you closed it. That's awesome. I love that. Okay. So, sorry for the. Uh, they will call mommy, mommy. Do, are you sure you guys are really, really ready to go to this school? Huh? Yes, we are here. Let's go. Right, We're in your school. Yeah. Are, you excited, are you happy? Yeah. No. Joanna, are you happy? Hey, Joanna and Janice, uh -huh. are you listening to me? Uh -huh. Behave yourself. Uh -huh. No fighting. No shouting. No biting. No kicking. No running around. Okay. Okay. John, can you hear? Say yes, daddy and mommy. We know you are good girls and you are going to be good girls. Do not learn bad things. Learn good things, okay? Okay. Yeah, you want you to can. color something with my picture? When you color, you, you will back color. Home, when okay? you color, you bring it back home, okay? We'll oh yeah, let's go. Pick you later, okay? Okay. We'll come and pick you later, okay? No okay this is my school. school. Yeah, yes. it's, this is 
Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> let's go. I let's go now. Go inside. Uh, Are they supposed to take off their shoes? Oh, if you do not shoes, there the shoes So we have dropped the girls. Like I was saying, uh, I'm super happy that they have finally started, and hopefully everything works out fine. I'm going to miss them, but it's better for them and better for me so, can, so that I can do some things and be more productive as well. So the first thing you do is to get a place for yourself. Then there, there is um, an actual fee that you're supposed to pay. I think it's a uh, province dependent, like the, yeah, depending on what the province approves. Like in Saskatchewan, I learned that what they approve for daycare is $850 per child. You had me well, $850 per child. But the good thing is that the province have subsidized it. So as of this September, what parents are paying is $333 per child. So now that I have to, I paid um, $666 for the two girls. But I kind of, I don't know, prior to, to this September, the fee was, they, of course they have, they have different prices for different places and I don't know why. Even when they are licensed, they have different prices because there is one close to my house and they, what they told us was 500 and they think 596, was it 596? I think they told us 596 and which we paid for, but they are not ready. That was why I made, when I made the video on um, cost of daycare, I put 596 there because we have already paid the first money but they have not started they are opening a new branch because they said their first branch is filled up so they are opening a new branch and you have to pay to secure your spot and that was the fee we paid so but why we came here now because they haven't started and this is the current price we are paying meanwhile they, what we agreed with this place we agreed to pay for uh, 76 yeah 476 but with the latest information from the province that made it 333 that was why we paid 333 as out of today but i was hearing rumors that um someone told me it's not rumor per se someone told me that the current after this september that the few will go back to what it was that uh, the province this is an unconfirmed um, message or information but I'm just stating it here so that you won't be surprised if you're paying something different I was told that this September they tried to subsidize it in order to accommodate parents who will be buying back to school stuff okay even though that some of the back to school stuff we are giving free by agencies and organization only if you hear only if you get the information and go to the place you, that's when you get things like that yeah Oh, I'm going to miss my girls. The house is going to get cold. My mouth is beginning to sour already. <laughs> eh? I'm talking on YouTube, but when I get to the house, if I'm not talking again, it will, it will be sour now. <laughs> what did you say? I said let it sour. seeing comments can we be seeing his face on this channel and then go and subscribe to our channel that's where you'll be seeing his face yes, simon and tina uh, yes. go ahead, that's where you'll be it's seeing his face yeah, very yeah. often okay but don't worry i have i have a video for you guys i'm going to oh my god let me not let the car out of the bag okay <laughs> so that's about it that's what you require to say another thing you need to note about daycare in canada is that most daycare you don't need to carry food i think not even most it should be all they care when you pay that money they give them two snack in a day and one lunch two snack and one lunch the snack can be fruits can be 
a burger can be anything depending on what their menu is so you have the right to ask can i see your menu you have the right to want to see the food some daycare have um are so digital that you can stay in your house and monitor what's going on in the class in the school room or in the environment but this one of course if you expect this that kind of tech place you should have, you should pay more a friend of mine in is it Ontario? Ontario pays more than that. It pays almost 2k for daycare because they have tech place. Even here, I had someone say they have a tech place where they pay one five. So, but Matana Takla na Tegui, as you they chop in, I saw you they chop your money. <laughs> so, but here, but today I actually gave my my children snacks that's fruits apple and the grapes right apple and grapes and i gave them rice and chicken with water so i don't know but i told the woman not to give them the food she should give them their own food so that they don't get used to their my own food and not want to eat theirs so that's what i told her and the time here most daycare the time for drop off when you got to drop your kid is by 7 30 most places few places and um, seven o'clock i've actually had a place that told me that i should pay uh, so i actually had a place there was a place i searched for and they told me drop off is eight o'clock i was like eight o'clock so if i have to get to work by eight o'clock so how do i not drop my kid so i left that one so most places is 7 30 and pick up time is five o'clock or five thirty like where i registered now drop off is seven thirty and i have to pick the kids up by five thirty but today we went late because i wanted to it was jason's first time of boarding the school bus usually he used to take personal taxi like yeah, yeah taxi but we dropped him off with the school bus so we wanted to like get him into the bus and the girls were crying they want to join their brother okay <laughs> it was so funny it was so hilarious so that's is there any other thing i need to talk about daycare 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 mm, they get to play see the place i think i got a little clip of the place their playground they have a playground they have their study room i didn't film the study room and they have some other things there and of course they have background is it backyard where they get to play yeah they have back here they call it where they go out to play and all that what other thing yeah all these things are things you need to check for no daycare will give you taxi to drop your kid off you have to be doing the drop off and the pick up that's all i know for now i hope i am correct so if you enjoy this information and you like it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload any video you get notified and smash the like button i'm going to miss my girls i'm feeling like everywhere is cold already but i've tried haven't i tried i've tried for almost five months almost five months with them alone everywhere i go Maybe one or two occasions I left them with my neighbors. My neighbor, one of my neighbors. But right now, I feel like I wish I have the time of the world to sleep. But sleeping is still dangerous for me because if I sleep now, in the night, I will do a woke up and in the morning, I have to wake up again. It's not going to be easy because I have to wake up still to cook for Jason. So thank you guys until we see some other time. Much love. Thank you for praying for my daughters for their safety in that daycare and for my son too. And for every other children to stay safe in this country. We don't want to hear any bad news. I've already prayed about it and I know that God is going to grant it for me. Grant them for us. And I want you to pray for me too. Thank you so much until we see some other time. Much love.